everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're gonna be talking about boogie nights <laughs> So Boogie Nights, it's rated R, it is 2 hours and 36 minutes long, came out in 1997. It is now a star-stunned cast. We start off with Mark Wahlberg, Julianne Moore, Heather Graham, John C. Riley, Philip Seymour Hoffman, William H. Macy, Heather Graham, and the late Burt Reynolds. I think I got everybody. Did I say Don Cheadle? It's more than just a porn movie. I just want to clarify that early on, um, but we don't get like, whenever we do have like sex scenes they're not like as graphic or graphic actually as you would you know think again this movie is not just about sex and drugs it's about you know finding who you are finding a place in life finding a real family but there's just so much more than what you would think so this movie takes place in the late 70s we're going on into the 80s and again we're just trying to follow eddie we're trying to follow jack who is played by uh burt reynolds fun fact though burt hated this movie he almost fired his he almost or he did fire his agent for convincing him to do this movie i don't believe he ever fully saw the whole movie the funny thing is as much as he despised this movie it's actually the only film that he ever got nominated for an oscar i'm going to give you a couple more fun facts mark Wahlberg was actually not the initial first choice to play eddie that actually went to leonardo dicaprio now leo turned the movie down for another little movie called titanic um, but later on he does say that he did totally regret not making this movie uh, now Leo and Mark had actually just got off of basketball diaries so uh, Leo actually recommended Mark to PTA for the role now for Don Cheadle who plays Buck also not the first choice for this movie um, Samuel L. Jackson was the first choice and when he actually read the script he actually told PTA what the hell is this and he wouldn't know part in this now once he does become a Dirk Diggler I kind of wanted um for them to circle back to the parents and just kind of see what they thought about his new like career choice like did they know that he was not a porn star but when i was kind of like looking into the movie the movie actually was supposed to be longer pt actually wanted this movie to be over three hours he, he's very known for making movies that are extremely long and uh, but of course they had him cut back a lot of scenes one of the scenes that they actually ended up cutting was apparently the parents died in a gruesome car accident apparently somebody's telling a about it and then we kind of cut to the scene of what actually happened I thought it was fine pretty interesting that it wasn't just a car accident but a gruesome car accident you know your mind just kind of wonders like final destination shit what makes Eddie so special you may wonder on why he would be this great porn star is that he has a very large like 13 inch package and of course for the porn industry this is like wow kind of deal like yes this is what what we need in our lives at the moment so i do want to say again it is rated r so we do see stuff okay like heather graham we see like everything from her and you know like rises to fame very quickly he does start off the movie very kind of like i would say not necessarily humble but he is more of a nice guy but of course as the fame keeps continues to rise and then once drugs do become an issue which is honestly julianne moore's fault that really got him into doing coke we do end up getting like the decline of his career now one of my favorite scenes involves william h macy who plays bill now his wife actually was one of the real life porn stars that they had on set every time that they would go to a party he would stumble on them or even when he would get home and she's just like screwing somebody else like she doesn't even care he would be like what are you doing and she's all like in the middle of it what do you think i'm doing like get out you're gonna sleep on the couch on new year's eve when we are leaving the 70s behind we're trying to say hello to the 80s again walks in on his wife with another man she doesn't give a shit doesn't even like acknowledge him like you can literally tell that he has had enough of it like when he's walking away you see him losing his shit basically in a very like calm way though but i'm just like i bet you're gonna kill him you're gonna kill somebody you're gonna shoot somebody are you just gonna leave go to the car he gets a guy said i knew it you're gonna go you're gonna kill them? Are you just gonna kill the wife? Are you gonna kill both of them? 
so calmly, you guys. Goes back, bam, bam, shoots him. Of course, New Year's. And everybody's like, oh my God, he comes back to the party. And he just like smiles at the guests. I took it as a, I'm sorry that I kind of ruined the party smile. But at the same time, like, I don't regret what the hell I did. But then, like, you know, blows his brains out. Like, of course, some of the other guys, like Reed, who is played by John C. Riley, or Buck, who is played by Don Cheadle, they have other dreams and aspirations other than just being porn stars. Like, Reed, he's really into magic. And Buck has a dream of opening up his own, like, stereo business. Now, Buck ends up having this very interesting encounter on how he can get funded for his store i found his opportunity and took the money you know what i'm not gonna lie i would have taken the money as well so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the end of the the movie uh with that very iconic scene a whole two hours and something mo uh, minutes of this movie we've just heard about his penis we you know seen the reactions that you know other characters have towards it but we the audience have not seen it he whips it out, gives himself a little pep talk and like puts it back in and then off to work he goes. Obviously it's a prosthetic you guys, that's not Mark Wahlberg's penis. But I feel like the scene was done in a very like tasteful way. I mean obviously people are struggling to find it, you know, disgusting or offensive or whatever. But that's just people in general. But for it to be the scene that it is, right, it could have been so much worse. It could have been a very disturbing scene, but it just, everything just really, I feel, worked. And I know I'm putting a lot on a penis scene, <laughs> so we're going to move past it. Overall, I really dug Boogie Nights. It was a really great movie. It has an awesome cast. The music in this movie also, you guys, was great. I mean, these movies that I've been seeing, like, well, mind you, from Taxi Driver, from my last review, the score in that was great. The music in this movie as well was awesome. Um, from now on, I think whenever I hear Jesse's girl, oh my god, you guys, I had not sung to you guys in a long time. Uh, but from now on, I think I'm gonna be seeing Alfred Molina in like a speedo in a robe, just kind of like dancing and seeing like this little kid like just throwing fireworks. <laughs> That was a really good scene, you guys. But yeah, if you have not seen Boogie Nights, I highly recommend that you watch this movie. If you've seen Boogie Nights, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Let me know down below. Of course, before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. So next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!